Well, good morning. Good morning. Oh, there's something missing off the front of this car. It's a bumper cover. And it's got tree nuts in it? I don't know. Anyway, hello and welcome. It is uh, October 13th, and you're here at the Automotive Mechanics live stream, where I stream all day and uh, may or may not get something done. But today we're replacing this radiator, and this is not a Volkswagen. This is an Audi TT. So, good morning, everybody. This is just the all day raw, uncut VOD. <clears throat> So, if you're looking for something for more specific content, then by all means, I have plenty of repair videos and things like that. But if you just want to come hang out and chit-chat, shoot the crap, and, and hang out while I fix things, then by God, please show up. Replace radiator. Thermos. Hooray. Nope, oh, we've got to share it. Share it, share it, share it. Probably one of the most important things for... Um, live streaming is making sure you have a... a space where you kind of poke everybody. And be like, yo, I'm, I'm live. You can come now. Yay. Cool. Now I just got to pull out these headlights because, yeah, they look rather new and I don't want to damage them. Looks like it's just three. Nah, crap. Don't tell me that's actually hooked up to the headlight. Sure as hell hope not. Otherwise, that means you gotta pull out the front end to do the headlights. Which seems kind of counterintuitive, but maybe that's how they do it. Oh my goodness, this spider web. My god, man. I don't see a spider to go with it, so hopefully it's not here. Although I do know that there's a spider in the car, so the only solution may be to set it on fire. But for now, we'll try. We'll try other less extreme measures. Like this. Good morning, Toffee. Like I said, this car's been sitting here for, or not here, but been sitting for a little while, it appears. At least long enough this, that the spiders decided to make it their new place to hang out. So I use the broom, sweep it around, and then I put the broom on the ground and stomp on it in case there is a spider in there. Can't be having that. That would be terrible. Cool. I think that's the majority of the spider webs that I can see. Shoo, you eight-legged freaks. Okay, yeah, well that's it. All right, I don't know that I've ever taken the front end off of a uh, TT before. 
So this is a little bit new to me and new to everybody else. If I did, this is a 2004, so it's been a hot minute since I've touched these. It would have been like 2008 and up when I would have probably started seeing these. <clears throat> Why, what's up Apocalyptic Farce, how are you? Oh, you're a bolt. Of course you are. Meaning you're not a Torx. Just kind of evaluating all the bolts that I'm probably going to have to take off. Put in our brackets, our bracket bolts. Well, hi, all of you tiny little baby spiders. How are you guys? There are a lot of you. That is kind of gross. Like, I'm seeing at least 20 already. They're really tiny. <sighs> Pains me to do this, little spider. But I also don't want you crawling on me. Oh, look, there's Mama Spider. What in the heck kind are you? Oh yeah, the dead kind. I recognize you. There's also another solution to this, too. <clears throat> Just a brake cleaner. Now, let's see if we can't get this duct work off. I need it out my way. Like so. Well, that's a little spider. So, we are pulling off the front end to do the radiator, and then while we have the front end off, we will change the thermostat and flush the block. And then we'll worry about the heater core. Not immediately, but sometime in the future.
There. I don't know if I need to take that off. Might be useful, but I don't know if I need to. I'm also not a thousand percent sure that these headlights aren't attached to something else that's not the radiator support. size too big. Triple squares seem to be hard to judge. Just feels like they're more complicated than they are. Spider-Man, that's exactly what I've been doing lately. Is I don't know why, but we've just been absolutely inundated with spiders and mosquitoes lately. Probably because the spiders are eating the mosquitoes. I really would like to just pull off the whole front end and then have the condenser and stuff hanging like we did the last time with the uh, beetle. I mean, not literally hanging, sitting on a table, but you get the point. Now let's crack loose the rest of the bolts. Three thirteens per side. They're here in the, in the front. If you have any questions or want me to explain what I'm doing any better, just let me know. I got no issues with it. That dropped. But that's why we have the securing pin. Well, securing pins. Well, you bloody, bloody, bloody thing. I feel like I'm covered in spooters. Organizing my bolts a little better. most of it. So if this is all the bolts it requires to take off, then we should be able to just slide this thing forward slightly. Yep, like that. And like that. Unhooking the uh, The hood latch. Well, if you don't know much about cars, then this is a fine place to hang out. You will pick stuff up plenty quick as we do more and more repairs. I like doing complicated repairs. To a point. I mean, there's a point where I don't want to do anything really hard, but usually that's after I've done a lot of stuff that's really complicated. I don't know 
why I'm stretching up so much. But we're gonna pick it up, try and get those connectors off the headlights. I gotta make sure I got the uh, connector tab dislodged. Feels like I do, but it's not coming off, so. Gotta make sure. There it is. Don't want to be breaking any connectors. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got that, got that, which is a little bulb. We got a couple connectors around here. We of course got this whole mess of junk to the horns. I don't know if we're gonna take off all that. I wish they had a Nope, they don't have a little gaggle connector. <laughs> so, I gotta get this connector off, same thing on the other side, then we gotta undo this wiring here. Goes to this, it goes around to this side, goes up to whatever that thing is, garage door opener probably. And uh, unbolt that, we'll just hang the wire down. Because, like I said, I would really like to just pull off this entire support structure. But I gotta get to this connector here, and that's what I've got the tab for. My flashlight is very bright. that one ah, there's that one ah, nuts this side's got the inner cooler in the way that's gonna make that a little bit more interesting I need to get my hand up there and a pick tool up there, so I need a longer pick tool. Should be able to pull off though. Hmm. This one's not wanting to play nice. that one. What is that about? Don't care what that's about.
Yeah. Ah, no bra day. Everybody loves it. I think we should make no bra day every day. But that's just me. Mike's beating things. Where did I put my other pick tool? Gosh darn it, there it is. So, if you're new here, um, I have been streaming automotive on Twitch for five years, and so I decided it was about time to move over to YouTube, where there's Honestly, just generally more of an automotive community. There we go. Much more of an automotive community. And so hopefully they will accept me into their ranks. Despite all the crap talk I've done for all the YouTubers. <laughs> But YouTube has upped its stream game immensely. And so now I'm just waiting for them to continue blowing by Twitch. Because we know that they really want that industry. And I'm doing this with immense personal risk. I hate these clips. But I think it's worth the risk. Oh, that one's already broke, so. <laughs> Can't breathe every day or drag on the floor? What? What in the ever-living crap is he doing over there? I just hear bang, 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 bang. So if you missed yesterday, we had a bit of a, a bit of an exciting day with the car accident out front. Missy's doing fine. She's a little sore. As I figured that everybody would be. There we go. That's all disconnected. I guess we can just take this and, I don't know, throw it over the tire or something. Well, it's just, shouldn't forget about that when we go to put it back together because then we'll roll over a wire and probably rip out a bunch of other stuff and that won't be good. Yo, Jacob. Jedi. Late Apex. I think YouTube might need to work on its viewer counting, but, or uh, various things like that. They generally need to work on the chat some, but otherwise, I can't complain too much. I think they're making big strides. <laughs> they have competition with a company that hasn't made any technological advancements in who knows how long. Sometime. Um, I guess we should drain the coolant again. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's wait for that to drain for a minute. Hmm. Wait, that wasn't me going to my toolbox. That was Jason stealing my tools. Connectors are definitely a pain. Ooh, that one came off pretty easy. Let's not speak that way again until we get the next one loose. Oh God! Almighty! Spiders every. We have to give them an extra surcharge for spiders. This is your spider price. Because all these damn spiders. Did you park at a spider hotel? Jeez. I need to get that loose, to which we have, and this loose. It was oh that. Um, so in case you're wondering, uh, pick tools are basically just your fingernails. Come off. Ah, there we go. All right. I think that's all the wiring. Now we can lower it down, get the table, stick it under here pick it up, lower the car down, and then the only thing that worries me is trying to set this radiator support down on something that doesn't scratch it. So maybe we'll get this pallet. This pallet. That surprisingly doesn't have any spiders in it. I know it's a weird thing today, but Good enough. Buenos dias. I guess we'll pull off the already to hose first. Which is easiest to do through here. You're the most of foes.
Gross. I really wonder if they like put stop leak in here or something. I want to keep it from leaking everywhere. Because the thermostat's just slowly dripping out everything in the block. I need something slightly bigger than this. Too big. That is slightly bigger. That is too big, isn't it? Yeah, it's not gonna stop it from dripping, is it? Uh, maybe, maybe. What's dripping over here? No, this, because that is not a good cap. Because it's got holes in it. or gaps around it. I like to not make giant messes. <sighs> but finding the correct size is always a pain. This isn't doing a darn thing. It's just annoying. This might, although getting it back out is going to be a bit of a trick. Nope, too big. Too big! About to give up. At this point, it's just trying to be a worthy attempt at sealing up this hole. Oh, that is so close. And just deal with the drippy drippiness. too big. Yeah. I already tried this one. Oh well. We gave it our best attempt. Eventually it will drip out all the coolant. Still gotta get this headlight disconnected. There's that. 
And then we just gotta get this wire here disconnected. Tomorrow is baseball, hooray. Ow. Which I am greatly looking forward to. Because I quite enjoy the balls of mini base. are just annoying. Just annoying. What else is holding you on? Oh, just that hose. Sweet. Almost there. Whoa. That is a beehive and a half. Paper wasps. Anybody home? Whew. Doesn't seem to be. Thank you. Thank goodness. It's kind of neat that they can build that though. This is just paper wasp nest. Mud daubers. I think it's mud daubers. They build it out of dirt. It's pretty common around here. Ooh, I know how to make this thing stop dripping. Put it above the level of the filament, like up here. There. Now we don't have a dripping problem. That's a first for you? I find them in cars all the time. I think it has more to do with uh, relative geography than it does car. We have a lot of those bastards around here. Um, I have uh, definitely gotten them out of my own car. Twitter loves no bra day, I can tell you that one.
And thankfully, I have not run into any live animal. Well, okay, that's a lie. I have run into one. Uh, once upon a time ago, there was a mouse. Or a rat, whichever you want to call it. A mouse rat. But either way, I took off the under tray of the car after I drove it in, and then I was like, oh, hello. And he hopped down and scurried away. Scurry, scurry, scurry. Other than that, we won't really have too much issue with the mice, per se. Alright, I'm moving you over here so the cord's out of the way so I can get this table over here. And we'll do what tables do, which is hold things up. Can disconnect the radiator as soon as I get this off, which is a tiny Phillips head that is not accessible, really. Guess I'll get a stubby. Stubby's too small. Oh well, ratchet it is. Or too big, not too small. It's just it's a Phillips head, which is a little weird. should need T30 and uh, where is it this so anyway started blasting that. There's the four radiator bolts. And condenser bolts.
There. That'll be safe over there. This one, it's just a weird intercooler. Condenser bolts. We could be even more special and just suck out the refrigerant that might make life easier too because then we could just disconnect the condenser there's our three condenser bolts there's Four on the front and one down at the bottom. All right, there was something about this. I can't remember what. locks with the condenser, which I think is like that. Hooray. And now the condenser is just hanging here. So we can even take this, slide it back. And there's our radiator. That's what, hour and a half? Mostly hand tools. Disconnect the radiator fans. Man, it sure does feel like I do a lot of the same jobs in a row. We just did this on a beetle. Like that was the last major repair I did on anything. sure it's empty and then we're gonna take off everything else off of it yeah this thing has terrible flow if we can see the sides through this sensor. Um, we'll 
take off the thermostat and then pretty much just pour water into the uh, bottle and let it flow down through the block. We could use a garden hose or whatever. I don't know why I was walking over that way. I needed to get this. I don't know if this gets big enough. Now, let's see what we can see down in here. Yeah. Yeah, there's crap stuck in those fins. I can see the coolant, like if I do this. You see it like slowly oozing out. It should just be like slosh <laughs> instead of ooze. So it was uh, definitely clogged up, the radiator, which is one of the problems we were trying to address. It was more of a question of was it the thermostat or was it the radiator? It's one of the two. I had my suspicions about the radiator judging from the content of the coolant. And so did Missy. She had those suspicions about the radiator, too. You totally had your suspicions about this radiator being clogged up. It's not good. Did that what? Did you want this door open? Oh, no, you can shut it. off of here is a problem. Because these things have to be transferred over to the new radiator and they're just annoying. Everything's a hammer. off. It's inevitably Noah's fault though. Come off, you jerk. Problem is there's just nowhere to pry on it.
goodness, you're almost off. Like, yeah, since we've been sitting here, the coolant has started oozing out of these fins into the, into this. It's slow. Unfortunately, there's no more radiator repairing places like there used to be. Oh yeah, and that was the thing I was asking about yesterday. Um, Microsoft was talking about how they were going to be trying to make more repair friendly stuff. And if there isn't, if you wanted to use a movement of today, you could definitely argue that the uh, the green movement is very beneficial where it comes to getting right to repair push through environmentalism and stuff like that because you know what's better than why why do we hate we hate uh what's the term um anti-right to repair uh, planned obsolescence because i mean why do we want, we don't want to throw away good stuff just because part of it broke we want to be able to fix it. And so if we can co-opt the green, the green movement to get on our side for that, then that would be pretty good. Problem is I'm dealing with plastic. Ow! I didn't need that kneecap. I'm dealing with plastic here. Ah, come on. Almost off. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Two out of four. There's what in India? Right to repair? I mean, it would be great if we could repair stuff on the spot. That would make me so happy. It'd be especially nice if they had to like engineer things for repairability. That would be kind of, that'd be kind of bad apple. I would like that. <clears throat> Or sorry, three. So what I've found seems to work best is when you're doing this to take your pocket screwdriver, wedge it in there a little bit, and then give it some taps. It usually gets the back off a touch. And then you can take the edge of your screwdriver and drive it in there like a wedge at an angle so that way it's not breaking anything 
and that'll help back it off a little bit more. And then when you get it off there some, and you can get a little bite on it, you can start using your screwdriver to twist. Because this thing is like practically pressed on there. I know it's not, but it's almost. I'll probably have to tap it on there when I get the new one. But this is just irritating, to be honest. Just irritating. Did I say good morning if I didn't? Good morning, Mr. Sandoval. Seems like best results is push with both sides at the same time. Yay. That was just irritating. Thankfully, I'm at least sitting. <sighs> Says it top, man. Well, just because it looks good doesn't mean it is good. Just like this whole car looks good, but it's not. It's pretty awful. <laughs> Take this out, dump it again. Then go lay it on the side in case we need to reference it or get part numbers or junk off of it. Radiator number two. <laughs> I'm gonna start my own radiator collection. Awesome. Hmm. No hiccups. They came from the hiccup god. He comes around and taps you on the head and says, good luck. Uh-oh, why is Clint Eastwood trending? Oh, okay, he just said something. He didn't die. <laughs> that is all I wanted to make sure. Thank you all for joining me. If you guys don't mind hitting that like button, that would be fantastic. That would just be fantastic.
Because one day we'll get this going pretty good. Yay. All right, so we got to do the thermostat, which might be a little more buried than I thought it was. It's there. Yeah, we're going to have to pull the alternator. Which isn't a huge deal, especially with the front end off. We can just take out this, pin the tensioner. Hmm. This, uh, where did I, I saw my bungee, there it is. I saw a bungee cord. <clears throat> <laughs> now that'll stay there. I need a seven and a seven. Wide-angle lenses are great. They make me look nice and fat. There's one. There's two. Good, good, good. Sixteen and a pin. Seventeen and a pin. Doesn't really matter. Good lord, that tension is tight. Pin could be in there a little deeper, but should hold just fine. Yep. Now we can just pop the belt off the alternator. Pop. And then We'll be able to get the both ends of the alternator bolts without too much effort. My battery's still disconnected? Yeah, it is. Good. Just making sure. Because then we need to get the back of the alternator bracket and stuff loose too. Just disconnect that. What about the front first and getting it loose? Here's a white. I don't know why in the directions it says to take off the air compressor, but it does. grandfather killed 30 German planes during World War II. He was easily the worst mechanic the Luftwaffe ever had. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, here's a serious question, though. How is, uh, the supply shortage affecting your guys' stores. 
my stores are doing all right, but they're they're getting a little thin in some areas, that's for sure. Especially in like the cheese department, which seems kind of odd. Is cheese made in China? Yeah, one alternator bolt. Well, that's good and bad though. That we provide most of the world's food because if there's a shortage, then we're the ones that's gonna keep it and the rest of the world's gonna suffer for it. And that's kind of depressing. Knowing that yes, I'll be able to eat, but somebody else might not be able to because I don't have any excess. Or wheeze. The United States. So that's got me a little bothered, but man, this whole situation sucks. That's my honest opinion. <laughs> My next source fear, having an alternator that sticks in there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's coming out. It's just wiggly. Ow, my finger. Ow, my finger again. Let's reposition our fingers so we don't smash them so much. It'll come out eventually. I got the top ones off, now it's the bottom ones. Water wiggle? I have not heard of that. But good morning, geek boy, hello. Come on, you're almost off. Also a football game this weekend that will be working, so that's gonna be fun. I already forgot the security guard's name, and that sucks. Haha. -ha. Good morning, donkey.
I mean, I could access the bolts like it is now, but you gone this far, you might as well take it all the way off, you know? Yeah, radiator's sitting on the, it's over there in the trash pile. pretty funny. It doesn't really want to come out, even with all the stuff out of the way. <laughs> hmm. Haha. -ha. There you go. Because we want to drive these slides back a little bit. Also, so that way we don't have to beat it on. Awesome. Now let's get this uh, thermostat out of here, which is right tucked up under here. It's right there. One bolt up here, one bolt down there. shot yeah nice shot look hey man nice shot good shot man I said hey man there nice shot is it a good shot man taking out the thermostat here. This is on a 2002, ow, I just smashed my finger. Oh, that hurt. Audi TT, go into the bucket. You're missing the bucket. You're missing the bucket everywhere. There's so much of you going everywhere. My goodness. We need to flush out this block because the coolant is just gross. Some have been mixing coolants in here. And the alternator is currently removed from the car. And so is the radiator. That's why you have this beautiful shot. And now we're going to remove the lower radiator hose totally because why not? at this point. And now comes the big gush. So I'm gonna tuck you guys back to where you're safe because you know, electronics and liquids don't mix. Put you back on the cart. And then scoot the cart this way some. However, what I do is I take a, a trip over an electrical cord, and then I take a pick tool, and you reach in there and pull the O-ring out. So this is the O-ring that's on the back of the thermostat that keeps it sealed, and then you just pluck out the o the uh, thermostat. And then hopefully we don't have a giant mess, but it's probably going to drain out. Oh goodness. I need like three buckets. Or a K. 
kiddie pool. <laughs> Haha, that's catching most of it. I just kind of got the thermostat a little cocked sideways so that way it'll drain it, but it won't let it just blah, splash out. I hate cooling. I hate how coolant feels on your hands. It's gross and I don't like it. That's mostly water though, thankfully. One of our parts are here yet. A little rusty in there. Rusties. Brand bumper ornament. You know it's the best, I know it's the best. Everybody knows it's the best. Inside the block doesn't look bad. What about inside the hoses? It's kind of gross. Hmm. We could go through that upper hose and drain it out. We could just take like a garden hose and just. Because let's test that theory and make sure that will work before we make a giant mess. Still doesn't change the fact we need a second bucket. It's raining. Ooh, getting all that nastiness out. So yeah, we'll probably just grab a garden hose because I got one out the back door here and just try and blast it through. fighter. Hmm. 
Let me go see if our parts are here yet. Scare Missy back up front. Is it lunchtime yet? Is it time to go home yet? Jeez. You sure it's not time to go home yet? Thank you guys for the likes and the uh, subscriptions and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I greatly appreciate it. That's pretty good. Although I'm curious.
Hmm. Not terrible. But yeah, if you guys uh, also want to support the channel, but you don't want to spend any money, and you do have Amazon Prime, you can sub to my Twitch channel with Twitch Prime. Or Twitch, Amazon Gaming, or whatever the heck they call it now. They can't stick with a brand. So, that makes it to where you can give me money and not have to spend it yourself that you're already spending on Amazon. Because, ironically, that would pretty much be the main reason why anybody would go to Twitch, I think, at this point. Because Amazon Prime is possible. I wonder what YouTube's going to do about that. Yeah. All right, we need a garden hose. And we need a hose nozzle, which is somewhere. Oh, hey, little skink. Yes, that's right, leave. Out with you. I agree. Working with Blender is a really big learning curve. I don't like Blender. I'm sure it's great, but wrapping my head around it is hard. Oh, poor part of a bumblebee. The good kind of bumblebee. Poor guy. We want more bumblebees. little pollinating bumblebees. Yes, it is amazing considering it's free. That is 100% true. <laughs> yeah, that is also true. That's something I want to learn how to do correctly. Is a good clean and jerk and uh, power cleans and stuff like that. I'm just too nervous to do it. What do you do in those 3D programs, Jimmy? I, I'm gonna have to find a nickname for you because I have no idea how to say that name unless you can lay it out there phonetically for me. Oh, it's bad virus, okay. I can remember how to say bad virus. It's just I don't know what people's YouTube names are compared to their Twitch names, so. Unless they tell me. Oh, neat. That sounds like fun. 
What am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for a hose connector. I guess I'll steal the one out the front. <laughs> Aren't you done yet? Well, that just sounds like a personal problem. Now, if you will pardon me, and also not mind me because, well, as you can probably assume, I'm going to have extreme hesitancy about having the computer rig anywhere near me spraying water. So you, you'll be back here for right now. Despite the fact that the power cord's literally running through it, but that's okay. Come on. On kink, thank you. How was our battery charger doing? Yeah, let's turn you off for now and unplug you. Because then we can do this. Just stick this over here, nice and away from all that. And we just turn the hose. this until it runs clear. Oh, almost there. Looking much cleaner coming out of there. And so I started blasting. Yes, yes. How's that hose looking? That hose looks pretty nice too. Hmm, how much do those greenhouses run? Do you also like, are you designing it for a company or are you designing it for like uh, individuals?
Okay. Private farmers order them. That's neat. That's what we're going to try and get done this winter. I guess I can take these things out before I get, well, at least this one, out before I get it right in the jewels. Because, you know, I really like it when I get a good shot right in the jewels from a basically a metal spike. That seems like fun. All right, let's uh, get this and disconnect at least one of these heater lines. Probably both. We're going to go backwards and forwards to this heater core. Please don't break. gross up in there. I don't know if we're going to be able to save the heater core, honestly. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. Which is, of course, always the case. You always want to do your best. Stretch some too. <clears throat> quick connects are not quick disconnects, in case you were worried. I got the hiccups. Don't hiccup. Don't hiccup. I think generally my goal though, at this moment, is hopefully by the end of October, is to have somewhere about 30 viewers average. Damn it, I just can't get a grip on this thing from where it is. Ah, 
got it. Oh yeah, you can see how stopped up that was because as soon as I disconnected the other hose, it uh, started draining again. So now I need a hose. Hopefully I have two hoses. I have a couple heater core or flushing hoses. One to pour it into the heater core, another one to pour it down to the, you know, the bucket so that way it doesn't just shoot everywhere. Granted, it's not always an option, but if I can, I like to. So that way I'm not just making a giant mess. Because who likes messes? Oh, these people. I still swear I ordered one of these. I don't know why I can't find it, but. I've got a heater core flushing gun from Eric. Now what did I do with my hoses? I'm running down the road and then I'm gonna come back and lose my mind. Why? Oh, why are you going down the road? Oh, are they fixing the blower? Yeah. Nice. Even better. Me too, because it means I don't have to do it. I was wondering why. He was like, check the, check the, uh, you know, blower on that thing. I was like, it's squeaking. And then I noticed it only had 30 something thousand miles on it. I was like, that's even worse. So Toyota's covering it under warranty. Now, where is my big old hose? I usually hang it over this wall thing, but I don't see it over there. And then the next place I've ever seen it was over here. Did it fall down or somebody knock it off? No. Hmm. Hey, I found my stick. Oh, at least I found this, which is nice. I still haven't found my hose. It's my stretching stick. Open up the chest and get all those muscles <sighs> opened and stretched out. It helps, helps, uh, helps reduce back pain because you're not slouching over and uh, one of the big reasons why you get a lot of back pain is because your chest here is real tight from doing this all the time and so when you try to stand up straight you're like because when I first started I couldn't do that couldn't just get the bar behind my head I'd have to like put it here and like grab it and wiggle it around yes that's the uh, how do you how do you tell that your mechanic met his girlfriend at lunch? Because he comes back with one clean finger. Or two clean fingers or something like that. I told that one to my wife and she's like, ew. <laughs> Kind of hate to say I agree. <laughs> you. Ah. Haha. -ha. Here they are. Eric stole them. 
What a jerk. It's not going to work over on that one. I guess we're just going to have to make a mess. God, this thing's tight. This is our siphon, though. This is the siphon hose, not the coolant hose. That's too small. The other one barely fit. I don't know why, it just smells like sewage. Hmm. Darn it. Wish I could find my other hose. Well, let's give it a good old college try. See what happens right off the bat. Actually pretty free flowing free flowing. I'm pretty surprised about that honestly. And it's coming out nice and clear. Actually, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now we can just shoot it down those heater lines. Pretty clear. Where's this other one? That one's going through pretty clear. Then finally. I say, hey man, nice shot. Right in my face. And that's that. It's all running clear.
Hooray. Good morning, Tom. You having fun, Jason? I never have fun yet. You never have fun? Nope. Never once. Not that you can remember. Tis a shame. Alrighty. Put those heater core connections back on. I like to put a little dielectric grease on the o-rings of them to help them slide on there because they are usually pretty sticky One and two. Ah, oh, we're doing the radiator and thermostat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not bad, not bad. Let me just get a bunch of buck buckets to dump. Also, I totally took the day off from the gym today. I woke up and I was so stiff. I was like, oh God. Oh, oh, everything is sore and tight. But it's, of course, doing better now that I've loosened up. Been moving around. But still just a little tight. I know that I am old. I can see the water pump impeller. Is it intact? Feels that way. 
doesn't feel like anything's broke. So if you are, um, if you are working on one of these two liters or one eight turbos, uh, the older gens, and they do have a timing belt that you can take out the thermostat and see the impeller on the water pump. So you don't have to take apart the whole timing belt. It might be a little easier, small shortcut if you want, or if you will. I know this is kind of old information if uh, people don't already know that, but hey, I need to make another short today. What should we make a short about? Awesome. Get a little emery cloth and try and clean out that hole so we have a nice ceiling surface. Just gotta go get some new stuff. Last night I was watching a guy do a uh, battery in a electronic vehicle as a battery pack. It was really interesting. And even, even his, as he described it, it's not really hard, it's just heavy, I guess. I don't remember what kind, because it was something I've never heard of before. It wasn't a Tesla or something like that. Dang it, this thing is just irritating. I would like to work on EVs. going to like a training class or schooling for it. That's it. Come over here and steal my tools. Just one time. Just one time? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. That means the next time he's going to be lying. What? Gotta leave oh, what are you gonna do? Gotta Aw. That sucks. No, it's been here for three weeks and it's already taken time off. Golly. Who does this kid think he is? got a funeral to go to. <sighs> Somebody you knew or? Yeah, it was my grandma. 
Oh, okay. How old was she? Like 78, but she had cancer all over. Oh, she had bad, bad cancer. Yeah. That sucks. Kind of knew it was coming. Yeah. <laughs> One of those, it sucks, but it wasn't really a shock. Exactly. Yep. Is your, is your grandfather still alive? Yeah, he is. Well, my condolences. That sucks. So you were probably not going to use this flush. Nope. I already flushed it all out, actually. You already did what? I already flushed it all. Okay. I got it running clear. I got the heater core, the heater lines, the radiator lines. Excellent. No, it's just rusty. Okay. Seems like it's just rusty. Probably somebody mixed coolant and then, or just poured in too much water. I don't know. Yes. Rusty's brand bumper ointment. I take it, Noah, you were a big fan of cars when you were a kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Figured. Any car-related car movie? Yeah. Gone in 60 seconds? Oh, yeah. Trying to make sure the bolt holes for the thermostat are clean. Uh, now he's bringing it back. Yeah. After you're done, went and used it. I tell you, you got to get that done today, don't you? Yeah. Oh, what do you got to do? Oh, okay. We'll make Jason do it if he can't. He'll be super happy. Yep. Yeah, wiper blades are not difficult. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With a leaking screen? What do you mean a leaking screen? The screen can leak? Does it leak out its liquid? I, my, my mind is blown at the moment. The liquid crystal just like leaks out. That is just weird. I can honestly say I have not heard of that problem before. The giant screen, yeah, I've seen the giant screen. I've been in a Tesla, I've driven a Tesla, I've worked on a Tesla in the sense that I rotated the tires and changed tires one time, I think. Really? That I was completely unaware of. Today I learned Tesla screens leak and uh, make a mess. Hmm. I would say in the simplest of terms is I was not expecting that. But hey, you know, that is kind of funny though they're not leaking oil or coolant, they're leaking liquid out of their screen. Electronic, I just kind of dumbfounded that I didn't realize that electronics could leak. It just didn't occur to me. It makes sense though, I get it. True, oil you can fill up, screens not so much. Are we gonna have to are we gonna have to do like screen display liquid change? Like a dentist, I want to clean off the area. To make sure it's good and dry. So that way, when we look at it in the future, we can tell if it's leaking easily. What is the, because it's the liquid crystal display, LCDs. Is it an LCD or is it an LED display? I guess it would be an LCD. I don't know, ignore me. I haven't gotten too much into the science of 
you know, those. this uh, alternator connector. Make sure it's nice and rust and or debris free. the alternator back on and we can put the radiator back in and we can get this thing back together but first things first I gotta return the rest of these plugs hold on before I forget about there like a couple days old
All right, sorry, I was just looking at our new keyboard for hanging keys, not typing. Um, David made a new one, it's nice. It's got everybody's colors because we organize who's doing what via colored uh, in the program that we use. In Techmetric, every tech's got their own color. I'm red, Jason's like pink, or Mr. Mike's pink. Eric's like light, light green, etc. So we organize them like that in the tech thing. So we just did it again on the uh, keyboard. And so it just got put up today. It's nice. David made it. Quite the woodworker. There should be enough there. And that should be enough there. I really hate these grommets. It would be nice to be able to press them out and clean them and then put them back in and they slide easily. But they end up getting rusted up in there. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. How are you, Dave? Uh, it is a new alternator, but I'm not putting it. It was new when I took it out. I'm not installing a new alternator. It was just already new. So I'm just putting it back in now. I just took out the alternator to get to the thermostat. Click. And attach. And of course, don't forget if you're working with an alternator or any part of that kind of electrical system, make sure you disconnect the battery because it's pretty much a straight shot from it to the positive cable. And if you don't, you're going to be really surprised or shocked to find out that uh, it doesn't like to touch the ground.
So we got the system flushed. Ooh. Don't drop the darn bolts. Got the system flushed. And now we are just going to put it all back together. I don't think it's got a blown head gasket. It might, we might find out that it does. Who knows? But based off the test that I've tried already, I didn't, I didn't have any reason to believe that. It didn't, it didn't act crazy. Like, you know, there was, wasn't bubbling out the coolant. Um, so I think it's fine as far as I can tell. Maybe, but I ain't no fortune teller or savant or something like that. I can only repair what I know is bad. Yep, and that falls under how hot the car truly got, which falls under did they tell me all the story, the whole story. They said it got hot and was smoking. They didn't specify where it was smoking from, just that it was smoking. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Yep. I'm sorry, I gotta post this on the Discord under the political discussion. I just saw this. It's messed up. Okay, Discord's gonna take its sweet time to load. Oh, never mind, it's gonna take that long. I'll do it in a minute.
Oh, now it's loading. Yeah, yeah. Bell went on pretty easy. Check, make sure it's on the crank. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, there's a thing that can happen that I didn't know about, um, which was <sighs> we're gonna need pliers or something to get that out. <clears throat> that when you pick up a car on a lift, when you let the suspension all the way down, it is possible for the uh, struts to lock up. Like if the fluid gets on the wrong side and gets stuck, that could be the end of that. You might just have to replace the struts. Eric was telling me about that yesterday because it happened on his brother's car. They picked it up, do some tires or something like that. And then when he put it down, the front end was all jacked up. And it's like, okay, so so both tried to drive it and drove about a mile and it's like, nope, can't do it. Got to replace them. So just keep that in mind. I always kind of wonder about that. Like what unintended consequences can you have happen on a car just by picking it up? And I also believe that in some instances, etc., you can definitely have cars that maybe didn't make suspension noise and then when you took them to the shop and they picked it up and let it down and stuff, now it does because it put those different suspension component components at, uh, you know, different, uh, different levels, if you will. That they're not used to being at. And so it wasn't squeaking before, but now it is. Mm -hmm. All right, alternator's on. Now I'm pretty sure it's just radiator time. How are these O-rings? Pretty flat. They could use to be changed. Let's pick one out and see if we got a substitute. Although we are going to have to move off of this job once Noah's done over there, because I have a Mazda for brakes. here and since Noah's going to a funeral I have to do it so it'll be a change of pace a little change of pace let me go see if we got two of these o-rings
Got him. Good. Good, good, good. He lifted the car up on the oil pan to tilt it a little. Good part is now that we got it all flushed, we can put in good coolant, which is always a bonus. Bad coolant sucks. Dang it. There. Now I'll just lube those up, to slide onto the neck easy, and off to the races. Hopefully we'll get the front end hung back on here before we go to lunch. I need some food. It didn't end well. How not? Picking up a car from the oil pan is perfect. Is it not? That's how I have this car lifted. I just have the lift arms on the oil pan. All right, I gotta get these buckets out of here. Let me just go ahead and open the door so I don't have to do it with a bucket in my hand. Come back here and put in our recycle tank. Not that heavy. <sighs> there. Both buckets empty. Beautiful day outside, though. It's like 75 and Bright sunny, bright, bright, bright sunny. I don't know, just kind of feeling kind of quiet today. I don't know why. So I hope you guys don't mind the... the not super talkative moment.
That's locked in. That's our new radio to look. A little spot on it, but I don't see any damage. It's a little kind of bent up the fins a little bit, but I mean, that'll just happen by me touching it at all. They're not smashed flat though, it's just, I don't know, that's a little weird. Uh, this way. in front of my toolbox. Can't be having that now. Can't be having that. I'm feeling I'm supposed to put Teflon or some sort of liquid sealer on here. I can't remember. Or it's supposed to have an O-ring. Is that on the old one? Is it stuck to it? Still? No. Looks like it's supposed to have an O-ring though. What may have happened to it is anybody's guess. Hmm. I don't think it did, but maybe. No, I don't think it did. I think it just met flush against the plastic. And it probably uses the plastic as a washer. Just make sure it's really clean. We'll vacuum test it first, so. Like we'll get this thing hooked up and we'll hook it up to the connectors and then the system sealed and we can vacuum fill it and make sure it doesn't leak before we put it all back together. So all you guys I'm playing New World with, I have not had time to be on. Hopefully tonight will be the tonight will be the night that I have a chance to get on. Cause I have just had a crazy fucking week. Monday with scouts slash taking care of the wife. I mean she was pretty to put it succinctly, she was useless. Where it came to she was just recovering, so I'm not like complaining about that. I'm just stating that it was counterproductive to me having any free time if that was the case that I would have. 
which is fine. That's totally what I'm supposed to do is take care of her about that. But that's just why I haven't been on. Damn it, we did it again. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. What goes on here first? What goes on here first? At least this time we didn't bolt it up. Please fit correctly. I hate all these radiators. Grumble, grumble, grumble. These things never line up right. People want it. I don't know why, but they do. Well, we gave them an estimate and said it'll be this much money, and they said, go ahead. And I'm like, okay. That could have been really bad. When in doubt, put a rag under it. No, we're trying to break a window. He doesn't want to. I don't want him to either. Nope. That's an awkward conversation. So what happened? Well, it slipped. Dremel time. Yeah, it might have emotional value or maybe they look at it as an investment or something like, ooh, it's an older Audi TT. I can't imagine why people would think those things are valuable, but people think all sorts of things are valuable for no particular reason. Ow. Dab by a bit.
Oh, when's The Mandalorian season two or three come out? I think it's two. Some fitment required. Yeah, uh, trimming open the plastic. The, it doesn't quite line up. It'll fit if you just like trim the plastic holes a little bigger. No, they didn't complain about the heat not working either. So to show you what in the world I just did, this these have got the bolts in them right there, so that way it keeps those straight. And uh, I mean, there's still some you know play in it, but you can see where the hole is <sighs> compared to where the hole was. The hole only came to here, and so I dremeled out that, so that way I could get the bolts in. Because it doesn't quite fit right because, you know, plastic. No, the heater wasn't particularly clogged. I had an easy time blowing through it with the heater core uh, tool, but it did gurgle a lot, and it might have just not had coolant in it. Let's see, now I can get these in without too much issue. These are also self-tapping screws. But yeah, I, f I flushed through it anyway. I flushed through the block, thrust, flushed through that, replacing the radiator, pulled out the thermostat. She's, she's as clean as she's gonna get, let's put it that way. I think the only way you could flush it any better would be, I have no idea, or I would have done it. Time for dinner, my God, man. Europe must be an amazing place this time of year. Thank you for watching, and thank you guys for the likes. I see we've gotten a few more. That is far too kind. Hooray, Rusty's here to annoy me. <laughs> so you guys getting it useful? Um. I was going to say. Oh, are you guys getting used to uh, coming here now? Is that making its making its uh, way into your daily habits? Hopefully. Whoops.
It's like these bastards better fit. I can't like grind it out metal. Yeah, it will. Let's do my ratchet. Oh, I put it back. Hello, G floors. I mean, sorry I went and changed up everything on you, but had to change something. Whoa. I'm sure Rotex is excited to be back though, right? Yeah, I'm hoping it does. It kind of follows under the uh, premise there, Rusty, of out of some odd billion people that come to YouTube every day, there's going to be at least, hopefully somebody will come and find out and be like, oh, this is neat. I'd say we probably have like 300 people come through a day. Where did that other bolt go that I dropped? I dropped it and landed right here. Did it really roll that far? I thought I watched it stop. Problem, of course, is that it's the same color as the ground. So that's not helping anything. Either that or Noah kicked it. Just a bolt. Do you see a bolt? Gray bolt. Yep, that's it. God damn, how could I not see that? That thing was like invisible. <laughs> that and you also had more of an angle too. The, the best way to find a bolt, I just didn't feel like getting down yet, was, uh, is, you know, get your face right next to the ground. Because yeah. largely the floor is flat, so whatever sticks up is it. Yeah. And the next best thing is use a flashlight on the ground and just beam it across. Something with a nice tight beam, so that way when you pass it, it's like, ah, big shadow. Big shadow. There it is. There it is. We still have ads, have to add stupid washers to this thing. Jesus, that was a pain. Yeah, we do need to paint the floors again. It's about that time. Well, it's been about that time, but it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if we did that. Put it that way. We'll probably get it done. There's a lot of improvements to be done to the shops at some point. We're just not super worried about it yet right this minute. Mostly worried about making it efficient and useful. Which efficient, I don't think is quite what's going on yet. Unless you could say that, I mean, we're pretty darn efficient. It's just the problem is um, we're so efficient, we're faster than our service riders. I mean, when we have work, we get it done pretty quick, I would say. I don't think it's the uh, lack of skill by us to get the work done fast enough. It's usually I'm waiting around for approvals or parts. That's the main rub.
right, this is on the correct side. should be able to drop this. Yep. Tight beam lady. It's a lady beam. Chop, chop, Noah. Time's a clicking. Hopefully, if you're, uh, if you haven't learned this yet, then you should learn it right now, which is when you tell them you have to go somewhere, make sure to give yourself like a 15 minute buffer. I'm usually like, yeah, I got somewhere to be at two o'clock, so I'm gonna leave at 1.30, and that way hopefully I get out of here by 1.45, or, because I don't need to be there till 2.30. this attachment method of hooking the radiator into the front end, but I'm sure there's, there's got to be a better way to do it. Honestly, if I were to design this car and I were to think about it right now, I'd probably want to make disconnect points for the condenser somewhere up here along with those bolts I don't know I was gonna say I want like some sort of like s spot where you could just you know have the cutout that you could maybe pop out and then disconnect the stuff and just slide it out the top like a like a cartridge I know that's probably not l practical if you were to actually try and do it but I'd want to try and get as many components to be you know slide outable or replaceable without having to take off too much other stuff well, there we go. We got our radiator hooked up. Got the heater core hooked up. So now we could go ahead. Oh, shoot. This would have been nice to do before I disconnected all that, but, or hooked all that back up. But it's totally doable like it is. It's not impossible by any stretch. It's just right here. I mean, you can still get down to it down here, something to make sure it goes on straight, but. Sure is a lot easier when you don't have the headlight in. There we go.
An hour buffer is a little big. It depends on what I'm doing. What is this, neat? Oh. But like uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna be leaving here at like 4.45, maybe even 4.30 for tomorrow, just to be safe. Cause I got practice at 5.30 and I gotta go home, get the kids change, get in the baseball stuff. And also it's our first practice, so I should probably be there a little extra early to make sure, you know, I can get anybody. So I was just pondering if you could have the the work hours you besides not working like you know you understand that you have to go to work what kind of work hours would you pick i know rotax doesn't get a say in this because he already works his he owns his own business so he works whenever he feels like it <laughs> but if you're not your own shop owner Because one thing I was pondering was the fact that it would be kind of nice I would be pleased if uh, I could like you know when you just when you hit that basically work when you want because I know at some point I'm gonna go start going stir crazy and I'm gonna want to do stuff But, like if I was had to stay at home or something. It's just a matter of, does that meet up with the ability to make enough money? There. Headlights are hooked up. Might as well vacuum test it now before we get too excited and have to take it back apart. If that's, this is the number one reason to be able to purchase or to purchase a uh, vacuum fill is whenever you have a cooling system repair, you can check it. You can check it for leaks before you, you know, put it all the way back together. Not vacuum it all the way down because I don't feel like filling it up right this second, but I just wanted to put some vacuum on it and make sure it holds. So right now it's sitting dead at 15. You can use a pressure tester the same way. It's just a lot of times putting air in the system is a little harder. You can do it with a pressure checker thingy booger. Usually you'd want to use like an air pressure tester. You could do a pump one. It would just take you a while. Sitting there pumping and pumping and pumping for a while. But yeah, it's holding pretty nice. Brilliant. All right, lots of grunting over there. I just dropped that skippy clip and I didn't hear it hit the floor. So it might've hit the carpet down there. I'm trying to make sure it didn't get stuck up here before I look on the carpet. Hmm.
All right, so I lost it. Yes, I'm coaching. I would say my probably ideal hours would be like, yeah, nine or 10 to four, five-ish. Um, with the easy option of, I got stuff to do. Awesome. Lunch time. Well, the question is, how can we manage a thing without being there? So, like, it would be kind of neat if you, like, you at your own shop, or if I had my own shop, having, like, a... Later, man. I would say have fun, but I don't think you're going to. Uh... You know, like a video call type thing. Granted, you don't want to just be constantly disturbed on your when you're not at work. I vote, personally, that a lot of the people we should go back to doing things. Eh, it wouldn't really work, though. I guess even blacksmiths back in the day had their shops out in the city and then they probably lived somewhere else or they lived above it. Yeah. I'd love to work 15 hours a week instead of 45. Something tells me I'm not going to produce enough stuff to uh, live off of. I mean, I feel like something needs to change in the automotive industry for sure. Or just maybe in physical labor jobs in general. I know it's not hard, but... Hell, even sitting at a desk is hard on your body. I think you really shouldn't be doing that either. 
you know. <laughs> Darn it. Awesome. Food. I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. I want them yum yums. Yeah, I heard. Wow, I walked into the wrong time. But things making it worse and worse is the, just this current inflation is killing everything. Holy, I just realized it, never mind. I, what? How would that work? I don't know about all that. Uh, let's just calm down there, boys. Not gonna do that.
Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I totally agree. People do need to take time for their bodies and minds to recuperate. Very frustrating. Well, days, Dave, that depends on what they're into. Maybe you can. I mean, I guess it depends on which ones. Wait, Cod's going back to World War II again? I don't know, ma'am. That's a good question. How so? Apocalyptic farce.
Ooh. That's cool. <clears throat> No. I'm not trying a week without meat. I'll die. Literally and figuratively. We can grow cows in space. That is funny, heretic. <clears throat> Terrible, but funny. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe definitely it's what you put on family friendly streams. I don't want to be sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. What's up, Robert? How are you? I just finished eating my food. Now I'm, you know, having that post-lunch. <clears throat> we sit around and BS for a while. I mean, I can understand them not being friendly to newcomers. Like, are you trying to get a job or are you talking like <clears throat> you just like want to go work on your car there? I don't know how many shops to have that kind of, uh, I don't know of any like 
there there was one that was built here, a, a you know, rent-a-bay style. <gasps> I wonder how it's doing. I presume since the pandemic, it probably hit the crapper. Or it did great because people had a bunch of time. But about your preferences, I don't know where that would come into the, uh, where that would even come into the conversation. <clears throat> yeah, I've never, um, I have never run into a an, <clears throat> need to ask anybody about who they like to sleep with. Right, unless I'm asking for myself. I saw that third rock. I would be pretty damn annoyed. Right. Well, who cares what you... I don't care if you walk on your hands and... I'm trying to think of something equally weird besides walking on your hands. That's just absurd. But, like, if you walked on your hands and did the work with your toes, if you got the work done, I don't care. Oh, fuck, again. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. Um, is there anything else you can think of that I should try? The cool, you mean the cool one disappearing? No, not yet. Um, that's what's been kind of... Mmm, I hadn't noticed it. Well, no, I hadn't, I had to let the double check on the overflow tank side. But, uh, that was one of the options that I did was I wanted to put a, I put a new radiator cap on it to make sure that the radiator cap that was on there was good. But, other than that, no, I hadn't noticed it, like, steaming out of the overflow tank or anything. Compression test or leak down test that you believe that was? Okay, well, I mean, I can do a leak down test after I pull it out. It'd be really easy to get to at that point. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Pull it. Why a disco ball? Robert, are you were you on my Twitch channel or are you new here? Has anybody here only ever seen me on YouTube? Pull it. Still on the phone? No. Oh, what'd he say? Pull it. Yeah. And send it back to him and he'll he'll put it on the bench and test it and if he finds anything wrong with it, he'll just ship us another motor. Well, I don't know how to. I haven't yet invented a time machine, so. No, maybe. I will work on that. Yay, apocalyptic first. Hello and welcome. What brought you by? Like, uh, I'm trying to wrap my head around how people get here so that way I can work on that and make it better or fill in gaps, things like that. Yes, Dave, it's all about this and this. It's totally. That's totally why anybody watches. <clears throat> it's because I go to the gym. And I lift my weights. Good. If you have problems or you have a problem that you're trying to figure out, feel free to hit up the Discord and or here, of course. But then where will I clip the microphone? I'm not going to clip it on my chest hair. What's wrong with you? In my beard. You mean my, like, facial hair I need to trim? I think I'm gonna go with mutton chops. We're gonna go with the mustache around to the beard. And we're gonna shave this part. What do you think about that for the next next iteration? We're gonna go with the mutton chops. Is that what it's called? Okay. Clip it on my goatee. Ow. How uh, would that sound? Seems like it sounds okay. Hmm. Doesn't feel good though. I can tell you I don't like it. Oh. <clears throat> it sounds great. Oh, I mean it's right next to my mouth, so I can only imagine it sounds really good. Only thing I could do better is if I put on one of those little like ear mics. Which I have two of them. Which I guess you could argue those would be like the ultra backups if the pack die or if like this mic dies and I don't have any backups I could put on the stupid ear mic. I mean, of course it's going to sound better. Yeah, it's got I've got a Britney mic, if you will. <laughs> Heretic, what you need to record for your YouTube would be just time lapses of you cutting things. You know, like satisfying this or whatever. It's like I've, I've sat around and probably watched two or three hours worth of just machining happening just because it's like, hmm, neat. I don't want to do the ear mics. <clears throat> I have a set. Yeah, they're right here. 
Although this isn't this isn't quite the Britney mic. These are these are the microphones that also came with it. So these are more like the uh, like the uh, oh man, these things are uncomfortable. Holy crap! Oh, that's awful. I need to bend these things up some. No, not even slightly comfortable. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, can I help you? Hello? Hello? Okay. I don't like these. I don't like these at all. I would not want to wear this. Did you get the same set I got, Heretic? Uh, what? Send you a video of a guy getting turned into pieces? Did he get caught in a lathe or something? And like, dated? I'm not a magician. Let's bring it back in here and try to go through it one more time before we pull it. Okay. I gotta do the brakes on the other thing. Yeah, which I could give those to Jason if I had to. Okay. Because the customer's up front for the super and I gotta go tell them something. Yep. Um, so, run I don't piece. have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning, do I? What was the thing you said before that? Besides 100% correct? The oh, yeah, making sure that it doesn't have any air in it. Yeah, and then let's go through everything. Because the coolant couldn't cause a running problem because of the air pocket. I, what? Coolant causes a running problem if it's getting in the cylinder. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but so then we should see a bubble <clears throat> in the coolant bottle, right? Maybe. It depends on how much or what's how it's happening. Right. Like if it's just leaking in there. And then maybe it seals itself up after you get it warm, or it gets worse when you get warm. I don't know. Yep. I will. Dave, you here? Spectre, year round. I would uh, imagine he's doing all right. Probably. I don't know what he does in his off time. Interesting. Mm. 
You would like to be scarred? Why does Twitch keep banning and unbanning people? Well, they apparently had a unban list or a do not ban list and then they had a some other things regarding stuff like that. Hey look, Doghouse is streaming. <clears throat> But yeah, I don't, I definitely don't uh, miss Twitch. It's, he talks politics, I'm pretty sure. I gotta go blow my nose. Oh, my back's stiff. Tight. I just feel like that whole community's pretty toxic because everybody's competing with everybody else. And not in a good way of competing. It's not like, you know. <clears throat> Sometimes it is, but. I don't know. I mean, just ruthless competition is arguably the best way for advancement in anything. Because you figure out better ways of doing things. Uh oh, is Nightbot down? How does Nightbot work in YouTube? That's my only question. Like, you have to tell it every time? Oh, there it is. He's just slow. From what I can tell, YouTube doesn't use, like, um, IRC as its, like, chatting protocol. Yeah. Damn it. I got, like, a chunk of something in my sinuses, and it's got to come out, and I can feel it back there, and it's really annoying. It won't go out, so we're going to have to go back, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe it'll loosen up. Got it. <clears throat> Gross. Ooh. 
Yeah, I muted it because I was trying to get whatever it was out of my sinuses. Now, what I'm pretty sure is happening is uh, there's a section of, I think, this left sinus that doesn't drain very well. Like, you have to be in a certain position for it to drain right, and it's usually like that. And so, over the course of a couple days, it'll, like, collect up, for lack of a better term, really dry snot. And <clears throat> usually when I'm sleeping, it'll dry out and then start clogging it up and then add another layer, add another layer, and then finally gets to a point that I can, like, uh, get it to move. It's generally gross, and I don't like it, but whatever. <clears throat> Never have food that gives you sinus? That doesn't make any sense. I can save it for you next time and show you if you want. <laughs> Most people would probably be like, you need to see a doctor. And I'd be like, I do. <clears throat> oh, you're talking about how milk and dairy are not. I don't drink milk other than maybe some creamer with coffee. But other than that, it's just cheese. No, it's, I mean, I can breathe in and out of it just fine. It's not like permanently clogged. It just gets kind of stuffy sometimes. Also the current, uh, current uh, weather changes are just causing havoc too. I don't know. Thank you guys for the likes, though. I appreciate it. I assume everybody's already subbed, too. Only got six more to go till we hit 5,600. Hype. I feel like there's a spider web in my hair, which if there was, I really wouldn't be surprised. I already have nasal sprays, and I got sinus rinses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <clears throat> what I need to get is those, like you know, those, those those razors that you shave your face with, so I can shave my head. And that'll save me some money, so I don't have to go to the haircut so often. I can just wait until this gets so long that I'm like, yeah, I should go want to get it trimmed. Go check out Ross for that. <clears throat> Sinuses are weird places. <clears throat> so hopefully tonight I will be able to play some New World because I haven't been able to play it. Did I play it Sunday? I can't remember if I played it Sunday. But yesterday and the day before were just crazy sauce where it comes to getting anything done. It just wasn't happening. What I don't get still is I still don't understand how NFTs aren't a scam. <laughs> I 
Do the Rick hair from Rick and Morty? Oh, now you have to be Rick Sanchez for Halloween. I see it. <clears throat> Jeez, so, yeah, it was yesterday morning I woke up to Rick and Morty. My wife had turned it on before she went to bed. And I was like, I wasn't bothered by it, but it had to be one of the, uh, it had to be one of those, like, heavy ones, which was, I was a little, not just the funny ones. I don't want to wake up depressed. It was the one when uh, Rick or Morty had the rewind button. <laughs> or the save point button. And so he like lives that entire life with that girl and then ends up hitting the button or something and backing up all the way. I still think that life simulator one was pretty fun. <clears throat> and not the arcade. Time is a funny thing. You can watch it on adultswim.com. They have them there. That's where we'll watch the new episodes. You can even load it on your Roku or whatever. Mm -mm -mm. If Amazon has an app for watching TV on, yeah, I think it's Amazon Video. We watch Amazon. If you have a Fire Stick, yeah, you can load up an app on there. That's what we watch. We watch, uh, I think it's just Amazon, but we watch it on our Rokus. We have our Amazon on all of our Rokus. We have our Amazon, Hulu, and Netflix. And... Disney and ESPN because the Hulu, Netflix, or Hulu, ESPN, and Disney were all that, like, $10 a month package. And the Netflix we've had for fucking ever, and that's only, like, $7 a month. And then Amazon, we just have Amazon Prime, so... <clears throat> They wanted to up yours to 25 a month. That's ridiculous. I 
That's like almost getting cable. Although the uh, shoot, I forgot where we were. I can't remember where we were at somebody's house, and they had TV on. Might have been at my brother's house, and we were watching TV, and my kids were like, "There are so many commercials." <laughs> I was like, "Right." Now are you happy that we have streaming things instead of that? They're like, yes. Hmm. All right, it's time to get back to work. As exciting and as fun as this is, which I do have fun sitting here and chatting with you guys while it's lunchtime. <sighs> Does Playboy still exist on TV? Like, at all? You know, the scrambled channels? I figure it still exists. I wasn't going to go that far, Apex. That was my kind of next question. But from that assumption, I would say maybe. I don't know who the connoisseurs of that are anymore. Sure is burbling a lot. It's hot. Turn on the AC and make sure the fans do come on. No, it works. It might need to be capped before it raises the temperature enough to do that. That's what I'm thinking. Start just boiling up. Yeah. Turn on the fans for the moment and like turn on the AC so the fans run on and hopefully cool it off some before you shut it off. Not yet. There it goes. Yep. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Inspector Dave ain't here right now, is he? <sighs> I swear to Pete. I mean, they're probably making more money online than they would in print. Who wants print anymore? All right, let's go find out exactly what I'm doing. If I'm continuing with this or working on the Subaru.
Back to the TT for the moment. Because the boss man is up there talking to the Subaru owner. And I don't really know what to do at the moment. Other than itch my ear.
for fuck's sake. Y'all suck. <laughs> Wait, let me know I was muted. <laughs> yup. The problem is I go up front and I mute the microphone just in case I somehow didn't mute it or didn't switch mics or something like that because I don't know what them fools are going to say <clears throat> wonder how Huff's doing Hopefully he's doing well. And I concur with the zapper watch. Ah, oh, she's okay. She's here. She's doing worky stuff. Worky stuff. Worky, worky, worky. And she would just say that she's a little sore. I would say she's generally fine. Like she's in good spirits and all that other stuff. Later, Alan. Good luck with your mental state after you do that. <laughs> Don't lose your mind.
But it's interesting to see that in order to get the headlight out, you have to pull the frame forward. So if you were to try and change these headlights, you absolutely would have to pull the bumper off. I would try and shut the hood, but there's too much crap on top. There's the hood latch. Putting it back together. Testing the hood pull. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, we got all these connectors plugged in, those plugged in. Now we're gonna have to worry about some of these connections. And this front like wiring harness. Plug that in yet. Gotta get those fan connectors plugged in and the wires are all twisted. There we go. So I want these on the other side of this. Like that? Yeah. Like that. Alright, so this one goes here. There just ain't no good way to put this harness. Hmm. There, that's in now.
Oh. There's that. We just got bumper cover stuff. <laughs> cool. I guess we can fill up the coolant now, hey? Eh? Because we have it mostly together, but we don't want it all the way together to do the coolant. I still got to put the turbocharger thing right there. That stuff goes in the fender wells. Let me go get some more water and coolant. <laughs> Do I need any more? I don't. This should be enough. first. I mean, I guess they don't even have to put a front end on until we test it. Like we can run it, make sure it gets heat through the radiator and stuff. Because the front end is just, it's the washer connection and it's just the washers. Everything else is already hooked up. So we can do that. AKA, we can test the car without putting the bumper back on yet. Bumper cover, really. You jerk. Whatever that is, smells good. Um, Heretic, you gone through the, uh, the tags on the stream to see if I'm missing anything? Just for poops and grins? Let's top this up some more. Silly part is I could probably fill most of this with like 75 water, so 25 coolant, and this engine would still be happier because it's at least good coolant for it. And it's dealed water.
suck, suck, suck. Shut it off. Fill it up some more. This might take a little bit more than normal because we did make sure to drain the block and the radiator. So I might still need to go up and get more. We'll see. Ooh, it's going to be close. Should be enough. Oh, yeah. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Awesome. <sighs> Nothing's in the way of the fans, is it? Nope. Got the pipe on, got the alternator hooked up. Capped and clicked. I mean, we made sure to do that before we put it front end back on. Um, I guess we we'll checked the oil level, which I'm pretty sure the last time we checked it was fine, but you can never check oil too often. Even if you were driving down the road and you kept changing the oil or checking the oil. <laughs> Still smells weird. Let me go under it, make sure everything else down there looks good. I don't see anything in the way or whatnot. Good thing I checked. Might have tossed the belt off. All right, so I can't think of any other way this would route, but double check the belt routing just to make sure. Because, you know, belt routing. Drive belt procedure. Yep, we're good. That's what I figured. 
That's what I figured. Thankfully, this doesn't have an under tray on it, so even when we're done, we don't have to worry about an under tray to leave off or put on. Ha ha. Take that, you incompetent boob. You can't leave it off if it doesn't exist. Thank you, heretic. You are, as always, too helpful and kind. So I'm sitting over here thinking about everything I just did to that car and making sure that I didn't f forget anything before I started up. I don't know if that's, is that good or bad on how you do that? I just hope we're doing this right, that's all. But I guess there is really no right or wrong, it's just doing it and hoping for the best. All right, we are ready to start it. Let it run, warm up some, probably turn on the AC, make sure the fans spin, all that good crap. We didn't mess with the HVAC system, so if there was any refrigerant, there should still be refrigerant in it. Didn't mess with the compressor connector. Alternator's plugged in. I got to plug in the battery because I disconnected that so I could charge it. And the battery should be okay, hopefully. Because it charged all night. It's not a trickle charge. It's the nice part about that little battery charger is it, it'll do a trickle charge. 
So a little two amp charge overnight kind of thing. Don't have to worry about it. It's not gonna burn down the building. And they have their battery installed in properly. What a shock. Oh, I see why. Because it's not the right battery. All right. Where is my cap? There it is. Okay. Let's make sure I have it. I don't need it yet. I can't think of anything else. Battery, fans, radiator, hoses. We can pressure test it real fast just for poops and grins. Just make sure nothing's going to blow off. so worn out. Yep, 16 pounds. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yep, we're good. We are good. Is that good, comparatively speaking? Want a billion impressions. All right, there we go. I hope this works like it should. I can't find any reason why it would overheat at this point. We even reached in there and checked the, uh, checked the water pump impeller to make sure that it was good. Okay, what the hell? Temp gauge says it's at two thirds. Interesting. I know it said cold when I first pulled it in. Why is it now at two thirds? Or a third, not two thirds. Fans are going. I wonder if something messed up in the dash. Also, I mean, did we? It's not like we misdiagnosed it or something. We were checking for heat going through the radiator and we never got any. Even to the point that we had the, uh, I mean, I can see the radiators clogged up physically. So I ain't worried about that. That's secondary air pump. Let's watch the temp on the scanner because we can. I don't think it's unplugged. It's the flange at the end of the head is what controls that. No codes for it either. It's at 40 Celsius. All right, let's turn off the air conditioning so that way we can hopefully watch it heat up good old fashionedly. Uh, off. Secondary air pump again. 
because now we'll be able to touch the radiator through the thing and also be able to temp gun it too. It's got a green connector or a green plug and it's in there. I wonder if the dash one's just messed up. So now we can watch it. There's the temp. What? Yeah. Uh, just, let's say this. I've got to watch the temp on this thing as it heats up. I just think somebody's cleaning these tires up here. Oh. I don't know if I need to get in the car and press a brake. No. I'll put the tires on it. Just slam up there. Put them on the I'll be the rest. No one cares nothing about that, bud. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Thank you. You're welcome. Water. Getting some flow through here now. What are we at on this? Oh, I mean, we're already at 83 on the radiator, which is 28 Celsius, but it was more than we were getting the first time. But I'm also directly shooting the radiator a little easier than what I was doing before. 107 out here. The first time we had the cover covered. Sixty-four Celsius regular. That's, I mean, that's pretty normal, but it's a little cold.
They're looking pretty good. Yeah, between, I'd say, 80 and 100 Celsius. Uh, 220, I think, is, like, when it starts, it's starting to get hot. 210, you're starting to get a little, a little hot. Really? It deleted slap in the face? Terrible. The 10,000 meter world record holder was found dead in her home. Her husband's being sought after. Up, 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 up. Where's my temp gun? Yep. 108. Better, better. Yeah, we're at like 140 at the connector. Or 71 Celsius. There, and 45 on the radiator. So we're looking real good. Looking very good. Nice fresh coolant in it. Good circulation. Now do we have any heat? find out if we have some heat. We should have heat by now. Let's turn econ on. I bet you this thing's got a crap. Yeah. It's hard to tell with my hands. I think this thing's got a broken blend door.
honestly. There's foam all in it, but it is getting warmer. Ninety-one Celsius. No, we we shot. I mean, we sprayed through it, and I cleared it out. Oh, it's got. I think what's happening with the heater core, though, is. Um, it's got flow, but what it's doing is it's not... Yeah, I got warm air now. More warm air than we had the first time. Um, I think what's happening is if you have the AC on and the heater heat on, it's going through the heat and the AC and it's just making it lukewarm. Toasty, toasty, toasty. One hundred and twelve. One hundred and thirty-seven. Fan should be coming on sooner and later. After the thermostat finishes opening up. Cap it now. Let it build pressure. Turn off the heat, though. It's a nice day outside. As in a very nice day. It's like 75 and sunny. I think the fans come on between 95 and like 100. I can't remember the specific fan criteria. Don't encourage Panny while he's here. Lol. 
This shouldn't have been an argument to begin with, is the point. That's looking good. Oh, I'm gonna go. Let me go see what the instruments say. Uh, instruments. Toffee talks in here as much as he talks in Twitch. One hundred ninety-seven, or not one ninety-seven? Ninety-seven. Hmm. Oh. Hey, fans. Ninety six. Sweet. Fans came on and shut off. Excellent. Yep, brought it down to 93. All right, good enough test. Good, 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 good. No smoking. It's a good, uh... It's a good shot. Cool. Stick this thing back over just so it's out my bloody way. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stay there. Fine. Um, all right, so these are the top parts. Good, good. Well, put it back together.
Eh, it might be a little, eh, I don't know, it might be a little too high to be comfortable. Eh, maybe not. <sighs> Problem is this bumper's coming apart. It shall. It absolutely will have f crap. Where did that just go? There it is. so wobbly stay I know you're a wobble bit but you don't have to take it so literally side real quick. Oh, gotta put them on first.
I dislike this car. Granted, I've always disliked this car, but... Because you want to talk about a cr I'm about to break my own no swearing rule. Where the hell did it go? It just rolled. Oh, I'm standing on it. Can't hold on to it and get it on the fucking stud. Jesus. those two which are probably one of the more bigger pains in the butt yep 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 and so these go on the top those go on the wheel wells god fucking damn it I give up. I hate cars. I hate everything. I gotta get this fucking pain in the ass thing off again. Cause I gotta move it some so I can get the damn turbo piece back in. I even said don't forget that. And I forgot it. Probably make more money, that's for damn sure. Where'd it go? Yep. I don't know, I might have to pull off the other side too. The thing that pisses me off the most, hey buddy, is uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it in anyway. Like, I might have to take the whole front off because if I try and move this, I'm probably gonna break this bracket piece this or this piece where it's already cracked i don't know if you can even see that but you see where it's it's split before i 
Before I took it off, it was split, but it's cracking. I presume it prob that probably happened when maybe they were doing the radiator fans. I don't know. Because somebody's put radiator fans on this as well. And I think that's putting too much stress on that, so... Yeah, the last thing I want to do is give them a bumper back in two pieces. If I drop any more bolts, I'm gonna throw things across buildings. Well, go for it. Change the title. What in the devil can you possibly be stuck on? <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure everybody hates leaving stuff off when they have to put it on in particular order. There's no darn way I was putting this on with the front end on. Sleazy. Well, now it's back on, so yay. Cool, cool. 
Seems like a not so terrible day if that's all you're trying to do. Yep, almost. Hold on. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. Lordy. What? Eric must be grumpy. <coughs> <coughs> All right, let's try this again with these stupid nuts. Although I'm missing one, so either I didn't put it there, or I put it on something else. Either or, oh, it's right there. I dropped it. Where, there it is. My magnet's not where it's supposed to be.
Ah, oh. It was hanging on there for a second, and then it fell. I hate these stupid bumpers. Why do I gotta go and put bolts behind there? It'll fall off. It's plastic. Nobody cares. I could have dumped the whole thing. Those two, back to these two dumb ones. At least this top one's easy to get to. It's the bottom one that's a pain. I don't know why the other side, I can get away with this other extension, but this one I can't. It's almost like this side is a little far back, but it's not. That. I'm going to push this all up back in there. Ow! We have well bolts. What is that? Oh, it's the race car trailer.
Those don't go there yet. Oh, just let me dump it. Getting a little warm out of here. Pink. Went from green to pink. That's more soupy. Four more buckets? <laughs> okay. I mean, that's just exercise. <sighs> hey, the wife's there. Fine. Oh, we had a kid for this. You what? Hmm. No, I just gotta, just gotta make sure you lift correctly. I intend to be doing 400 pound deadlifts when I'm your age. Yeah. And longer. Okay. Granted, I gotta get it 400 pounds first, but I guess 300 would be good. Ooh. 
Damn it. Why don't I have any chat over here? Very, very good heretic. I hate fender wells. <laughs> Actually, we could probably just get this out by taking out. <sighs> oh, come on, I'm trying to get you in more, not out. That plastic was sharp and just cut me. Love it. <laughs> I love it. That was great. Hey, Nitro. And hello and welcome everybody that's here. Whether you're on the VOD or on the stream. Should be here. Yes. Good. Okay. This one's over here. This one's over here. I did. I saw it. that one oh 
Oh, believe me, once I get home, I sit there and stare at numbers. It's probably unhealthy. To the top. Let's see, I don't have any plastic parts laying anywhere. I just got the covers at the top. Good, good, good. I mean that, and then and there's this sits here. No. Yes, maybe. Yes, yes. Right there. That sits there. That sits over there, and this thing sits right here. Stupid covers. We I mean, have any clips on them. Battery's not sitting in there right because it's not the right kind of battery. However, let me try and seat it in there with the hole down properly. Yep, I see all the happy green arrows.
There, it's held down now. back together. Yep. <coughs> as happy as this little TT can be. It and it's all it's spiders. putting all my tools away so I can find them again. That's pretty important.
Me too. She's been sitting for a minute. Yeah, I flushed the crap out of it. Uh, we put, I used the garden hose and just flushed it through the block when I had the uh, radiator out and the front end off and stuff. It made it real easy to flush out the whole engine. So this engine, it seems like it'll be good. <coughs> We're getting heat through everything again, which is also good. This thing's got some oil leaks on it, that's for sure. <coughs> or had some. You're leaving for lunch? Gross. That's not allowed. I guess now I go run it down the road and make sure it doesn't do anything stupid. But yeah, the coolant should be nice and clear and clean. Washing hands, washing hands. Chicken pasta with cream cheese. Oh, wow. That's uh, probably what we're having tonight. Because the wife says she's making pasta. Check that coolant connection here at the radiator. That one's that was the only one I was a little worried about because there's like no washer, but no, it's good and good and dry. Good and dry. I was worried about that being a problem. Other than a whole bunch of spiders. Spider, spider, spiders. Spiders here, spiders there, spiders everywhere.
Whoop. Hmm. All right, um, hold that thought. Okay, well, I'm gonna run this thing up and down the street real quick uh, on a short trip. First off, sup, Scandal?
I know we already checked the hood pole. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, let me just run up and down the street real fast.
little stinky. What are we trying to figure out? Oh, best way to find an AC leak at home? Yeah. If you're out of refrigerant or you know it's empty, then just use an air compressor. I have a little, I just use the big rubber gauge, stick it on the, the AC line and just pump it full of air and you'll hear, tss, you can use soapy water or whatever, just like looking for a tire. No, it didn't die in spite, it's fine. Although that, uh, that temp gauge is, it starts good and then it went off. So I was looking up some info just a little bit ago and uh, these temp gauges are well known to go out of calibration. So. But I mean, we knew the radiator was clogged. And it's got heat going to the heater core now. Yeah, you can just use regular air. But I was looking it up. There was a recall on these gauge clusters for some time. Clearly, it's not still a, a thing. But there are aftermarket parts, so I was going to go ask them if they wanted to look at doing something like that. There's also a tutorial on how to recalibrate the gauges. But I think you have to take it out and take it apart. And this dude's, like, spinning the thing around, like, three times or whatever. Alright, let me go up front and tell them what I got done thus far, or have done, and what I found.
Writing notes, because nobody's working up front, apparently. Da, 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 da. I think we're Oi, lots of stuff to write down. So yeah, other than the frickin' gauge being off, the temp gauge, um, 
I'm writing down the things like when we took the radiator out, I could uh, see it. You know, I could see the uh, goop, if you will, inside the uh, damn thing that was nastying it up. But yeah, this gauge sucks. I wonder, did it happen? No, if I disconnect the battery, did the gauge just do anything different? Although I'll reset the damn steering angle sensor, but I'm curious. Oh, tripping in the toolbox. But no, it drove well for that little short distance. We're gonna go on a longer test drive here shortly. But I just wanna see if there's any way I can accidentally reset that gauge. Does it go all the way down when you? Yeah. I wonder if it got weird when I disconnected the battery to do the car or do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now the gauge is reading cold. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that is wild. Yeah, it's the calibration in the gauge is shot. Just plugged it in, turned the key on, and it goes boop, boop. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So, it'd be kind of nice if we could send the gauges off or rebuild them or whatever. Judging from how much this car is driven, and judging from the fact that I would say uh, that the tag's expired, that they don't drive it a lot. Well, I mean, it's still warm from driving, absolutely. But it's, instead of the, you know, up to temperatures here, it's here. Like, if you have cold and hot, instead of it being in the middle, it's like there, and hot's like way over here. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Hold on.
nobody's here. Uh, no. You can send the gauge clusters off to get rebuilt. I mean, the LCD in the middle of it's all screwed up. Um, it kind of depends on how much they really want to fix this car up, is the question. But, to be fair, also, if it does overheat and, uh, like, if it does actually overheat the car, it's, it does more than just rise the temp gauge. It starts blaring the sensors and screaming at you, literally. There they are. Oh yeah, they're terrible. Hmm, 200 bucks or so to redo the gauge cluster. wonder how hard the cluster is to get out of there. I know I've taken them out because we've sent off other ones. Gentlemen engineering.
<gasps> We're going to Bay 6. We got a 345 waiter to come in and get scanned. Check engine lights on. No, uh, no performance issues. Where is it? 2010 Volkswagen Golf. We don't have anything on it. At least it says 2010 Volkswagen Golf. Let's go ahead and add a license plate so it'll decode it. Texas. Oh my God, Texas. Wait, didn't there a plate on the front then? NNG67. Nope. Crap, I forgot the rest of it. Texas. NNG67. That's what I thought it was. Ow. 2010 Golf Base. Is this 2.5? It is. 2.5 liter five cylinder. Excuse me. Nope. Not in South Carolina, we don't have front plates. I don't know. I thought Texas had front plates, but maybe I was wrong. They might just have them in the back. South Carolina, back plate only. As long as you run away backwards, they won't see your license plate. Just go in reverse if you do a crime and make sure they're not in front of you. Although this gentleman sure knows what aftershave is, cause geez. Uh, da, da, da. It's a golf. Scan. Let's see. Let me get the engine. Check engine light. Secondary air injection system. Da 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 da. Secondary injection system flow pressure sensor bank one. Have they had the update done to it? Oof. It's emissions stuff, though. And since I live in South Carolina and they don't give two, it's about emissions. It don't really matter. It's just an annoying light at this point. We don't have any safety inspections. We don't have any emissions inspections. We have no inspections. You do not have to get your car checked out for any reason ever. Unless a policeman pulls you over and gets, gives you the stink. And even then, it's rather rare. Well, it does have a secondary air system. That's good. I mean, I guess. I see this kind of pointless, but, you know, hey, they want the cats to heat up faster so it cleans out the exhaust faster, then whatever. You do you, boo. Uh, let's do an output test. Let's see if we can get that secondary air pump to run. Fuel pump relay, evap purge. I should have checked the evap purge valve while I was there, but whatever. Bank one camshaft, secondary air pump relay. Yep. Sounds like we got a broken pipe if you ask me. Ow. Relay's working well, though. Are you supposed to have a front plate in Texas? Texas? I don't know why I have to say it like that, but I do. It sounds asthmatic. <laughs> right? Rid of the stupid safety and emissions inspections. They're just a scam. Um, so, things that uh, the things that are going to come up in the future, though, 
is this time I'm actually going to start an automotive podcast. Uh, me, IPA, and we'll see any of you guys happen to be a, uh, bring home the 3D printer. It's kind of in a lot of pieces. My kids really want me to bring home the 3D printer and they're going to try and put it together. Which, by God, if they want to do that, they have all the tools at their disposal. They're really super excited to try and print with a 3D printer. Um, I guess I'll go up and find out if we should clear it. Ow. <laughs> That's my youngest son typing right there. You think it's you you think these things are complicated there, bud. Wait until you try and put that together. So go look up videos on Oh my god, child, stop spamming. What is it called? Let me get the name off of it real quick. Hick top. I think Milky sent me the model. Right. Let me go up front, tell them what I found, which is secondary air injection system, uh, incorrect flow pressure and signal. I'd want to uh, take it apart and we have to inspect all the system. I can do that now if he's got an hour. I can have a good look into it. Hold on one second.
All right. So the gentleman is out of Fort Jackson. Um, And so he's trying to sell the car. And so he just wants to find out what's wrong with it because he doesn't want to give it, or try and sell it to somebody and be like, yeah, it's got a check engine light on. I don't know what for. All right, buddy, I just posted you a link, so go look up that link and watch some of those videos about this particular printer and uh, learn about it, and then we'll see what we can do about putting it together. Uh, well, he's, he's from Texas, so he's military at this point, so he's just traveling all around. Um, where did I... I know I saved the codes to the document, and we'll give him a print out of all that. Uh, where am I looking for? This. Do you guys say performance or performance? I always say perf I always say it more like performance, performance, instead of performance. So it always makes me spell it wrong. Anybody else have that problem? I I've just had that wrong forever, I guess. So my secondary air system is basically a blow dryer that heats up the catalytic converter on cold mornings to get it cleaning the exhaust sooner. It has no effect on performance, um, unless maybe it gets stuck open or something. Uh, hmm. That too. Like the PRO, pro performance. Um, also, speaking of it, uh, bad virus, I was watching the, I was telling you guys about this, I don't know, three weeks ago or maybe four weeks ago, back when we were on Twitch, uh, talking about those, the, the rocketry company out of, I think probably out of California, but they, they're running 3D printers, 3D, they're printing like a, a uh, like titanium. Anyway, they're, they're doing a very good job and they're 3D printing out rockets. And the idea is that they can, because when you have to assemble them with a, you know, like if you go with molds or something like that, you have to change all the tooling for that versus the printer. If they change the design, they just print another one. Granted, it takes a really long time to print, 
but if they shoot it up in the air and it's like, ooh, this happened, or they test fire it, and something blows up, they could be like, hmm, what happened? We can fix it, print out another one. It's really cool. I forgot what their uh, company name was, but it's something, I don't know if it's titanium for sure, but they have a mixture of metals. It's an alloy that they've made that it's printable and they're running rockets on it. Like they're, they're, they want to build boosters and rocketry for space. And they're printing them out like crazy and it's amazing and I can't, I'm so stoked for that. But they got these giant printers. Just buzzing along. Uh, these guys weren't using metal powder, I don't believe. Some of, I mean, I think in some instances they do use that style, which is, I know, I know of that type, where it's, I guess, kind of like similar to resin printing, which is, uh, you know, it, it like lifts off the table as you print it, versus a conventional printer where it starts at the bottom and then builds up. But I, I was talking about it and I was saying, you're looking at the future of American manufacturing, where we don't have a factory in the conventional sense, it'll be a factory of 3D printers and they're just gonna keep printing off what we need, uh, which will be amazing and it'll be great. Yeah, relativity space, that's it. And can you imagine, like, imagine if I could build a car company where I just print out all the parts. Like, oh, I'm gonna print a block today. And you can, you don't have to throw away the printers when they're not useful, like it still prints, all you gotta do is tell it to print something different. And I, that's why I want to learn 3D printing because I think that that's going to, that's going to be the future. Like 100%, I know that's going to be the future. Like unquestionably. Being able to print, being able to have a factory that's the size of this building, you know, the only thing would be we could print, if we just lined the wall with 3D printers and we're just printing out plastic parts, resin parts, metal parts, whatever, you know, we can just print what you need, anything. You can assemble it, whatever and we could become a manufacturing plant. And so people, so take it a step further and you've got, you're one step closer to a replicator. So like you're at home and you've got your vaporizer. Let's just go with this. Like I broke the bottom of it or I dropped it and it exploded, but the circuit board's still good, but the case is broke. Well, print another one, you know, just go to the manufacturer or whatever. If they were to make it where it's replaceable, go to the manufacturer, say, well, I broke it. And they say, well, here's the, 3D print thing, go for it, <laughs> if you can, or bring it to somebody who does. Exactly, that's, that's it, Late Apex, that's what's going to happen. I 100% agree that there, you'll have a print box and you'll just, you'll pay for the design or the royalty to it, like I wanna print a, I wanna print a toy for my kid. Well, it's five, it's a dollar for the, the print, print away. <laughs> it's a one-time use print, you print it up. So like I said, we're basically one step closer to replicators. clear yes let's see if it stays off oh yay shouldn't cut it on now because it's not even trying to use it. I think it's a two-trip code. No, well that one doesn't turn the check engine light on, does it? Short plus.
might have a bad sensor. Shit. Magnet mic microphone. Hopefully that didn't sound too terrible. Give it a good old tippy tap. Maybe that'll take care of it. No, that's just gonna stay. It's probably got a bad secondary air ejection system pressure sensor. I'll get him to look up what that costs, but that's pretty much what he wants. He just wants us to let him know what it is. He doesn't want to fix it because he's, like I said, he's trying to sell the car, so. I will do my best to reassure the next owner of the car that it's not a serious issue, it's just a thing. <laughs> Especially if you stay in South Carolina. But yeah, then what you'll do is we'll we'll go from we'll go from going to work every day to a lot of people, I believe in the future, will print parts and they'll assemble things for other people. You know, maybe uh, you maybe I have a small printer that's meant for really tiny things and somebody needs a really tiny pieces and so they order parts from me and then somebody else has got a big printer and they make parts for something big. So I don't know that necessarily the automated revolution is going to be bad for us. It'd probably be good. The more people can sit at home, learn 3D printing, learn how to do the CAD, learn how to build parts and build things that we need, come up with solutions for other problems in our lives that are like actually a problem and not just sit around and moan or sorry, complain. <laughs> All right, let me go pull this up front real quick.
The one there. They're, they're the same car. Yeah, they are. Yeah. That one is the same engine. I don't know if it's the exact same engine, but it's the same um, Yeah. What car? If they total it out, I'll take it. As long as it's not too damaged. No, just our uh, paychecks. It's our pay stubs. I don't know why he gives me one. Like, I get direct deposit, so it's more like, yay, this is the money I'm going to expect in my account. You know. I just take it and throw it right there. I wrote along the rest of the giant stack of them. Ah, uh, damn it. That sucks, because I was... I don't know. I guess we could probably still go drive the TT again. an ABS light on, the top light doesn't work, which <laughs> we don't do tops. What was the other thing I noticed? Oh, right. I, I got to write that down. I got to write down about the shifter. Ooh. Uh, the shifters on that, it's got, if any of you guys are here, I don't know, four months ago, we had a, you guys remember the Jetta that we almost died in? <laughs> Not almost died, it wasn't that serious. But the, I think it was a Jetta. Yeah, it was a Jetta. Did What's you up? say 104 or 164? 104. Zero? Yes. That's why I gotta get my printer going, because I can print these damn bushings. That would be so useful. I could literally print this little bushing to fix the shifter cable, because this has got the, uh, the shifter cable issue um, that I was trying to describe to you before uh, I forgot what I was saying and started typing. But remember we were driving the Jetta and I was shifting it around and we went to shift into, I think, third or fourth, and it, yeah, we got nothing. <laughs> as we were trying to turn into a turn off as there was a giant truck with a wide load following us and it was getting closer and closer and closer. <laughs> like, just push me. I can't get in any of the gears. And then we had to limp back home, which was also pretty fun. We, we got to pick one gear. Although it was funny because where I was, where we first parked was not convenient for starting off in second. So we put it in first and then scooted down the road. I was just gonna try and get, make it home in first. Um, and then, you know, just rev it, like put it in gear, rev it up and then just coast. And then when they slowed down enough, rev it back up and coast. Uh, but, then, but then more cars coming behind me. So I pulled off onto another thing, but this time I went up a hill and I was like, oh good, good, we're up a hill. And I managed to like back it up to where like we backed up in a circle to where we were facing the right way. And so I went under the hood and shifted in a second because I, I got lucky and uh, so shifted it in a second and then waited because you can't like shift it with the shifter so you had to shift it, turn the car off, shift it in a second, hold the clutch, start the car, look out the window. I mean, you had to be ready to go. And uh, so we managed to get it in a second. So I got to get up to 40 miles an hour, which is almost the speed limit. So I managed to make it the rest of the way home. 
or here. It's like, if that had happened on a trip, what would you do? Well, I'd try to get off the interstate, go to an on-ramp somewhere, or get off, get, on the, uh, get off the off-ramp, go over to the on-ramp, pull over to the side, find fifth, and then coast, and hopefully you pick up enough speed without burning out your clutch. And then just cruise the rest of the way as far as you can, and then you have to plan the rest of your stops very carefully. And you're going to be using the side of the road a lot. Neat. So, if you think about the three, like I was saying with the, the 3D printing stuff, um, about how I think we're eventually going to move away from, you'll use traditional manufacturing for something that you just still need, you know, a ton of, a ton of, because if it's just cheaper, then it's cheaper. But even then, as 3D printers get better and better, that might not be as cheap when you need a giant warehouse factory, etc. But, I forgot where I was going with that. So I think what you'll see is, oh, like everything that you've seen out in existence um, and how our current existence is, where we kind of kept building on what was built before us, you know, roads, technology, fire, stuff like that, how we can easily build on the technology that we have before us. We'll just keep doing that in the future and it's just the technology will be more accessible to everybody and then we'll start doing more and more complex things. So instead of the average person being a burger flipper, the average person could hopefully be an engineer. And then your baseline of society is engineers. Or something to that effect. Yeah, yeah, it's still got a long way. Like, it's not happening tomorrow. Like, the speed and accuracy of the printers are going to get better and better and better and better and better as we find better materials. Yeah, absolutely, Dave. But I don't even think it's going to necessarily be Amazon or something like that. But it would just be your average person. You know, like maybe or we would have a neighborhood printer. Like maybe as a neighborhood you would like, we all kind of collect up some money and we buy ourselves a giant printer. And uh, then we just, you know, you bring your materials that you use to print and then we just kind of share the printer. Or um, imagine somebody, um, you know, a developer, they're building a, a neighborhood and they put in like a, you would build a neighborhood, you know, however, whatever kind of houses you want. And then you build a, instead of, well, like you have the pool, you know, like the community pool, you also have like the community production facility. Like here, print stuff. That too. I mean, already printing houses with 3D con with concrete and stuff could solve the uh, every. There's so many things that we could make better. I'm. I don't, I don't think it's overrated like a lot. I think it's over. I think it's rated just as exactly how it's going to turn out. If you think it's overrated, Alan, then I don't think you're thinking far enough ahead. It is the one step closer to replicators. That's the short answer. It's just if we can have one printer print steel, metal, plastic, 
wood, whatever. Like, imagine having a, a house building company that is one truck in a 3D printing boom, and you roll on out to where you're gonna put it, you mark off and clear the land and stuff, and then you hit go and you walk away. <laughs> And then somebody's got a house. Right, yet. You know, you, you can make a 3D print if you're going to cast a lot of things or you want to sell a lot of them. Then, uh... Can you print a drive shaft? Yeah. They can print drive shafts. They're printing rocket engines, Alan. They're printing really complex rocket engines. Have you heard about that, Jake? Them, uh, I think it was, I forget what it was called again. Re relativity space, I think what it was. Theory of relativity? No, just relativity space. It's a company that's printing rockets. Like 3D printing? They're 3D printing rockets, and uh, the advantages are, obviously, rockets are really complex. Yeah. 3D printing makes it much easier because they don't have, like, uh, on the bell of the rocket, mm -hmm. where all the fire comes out, they have to keep it cool, so that way it doesn't melt and crap like that. Normally, they would have to literally run pipes up and down that run the refrigerant through it. Well, with the printers, they can just print the pipes into it as they print it, so it makes it very cheap. That's pretty cool, yeah. It's very, very fascinating. Um, I think it was... I forgot the guy. The YouTuber did a tour of their little facility. And it's like they've, they've printed the whole like rocket booster. And they're printing the cones and they're printing the rocket nozzles. And it's neat. And they're test firing them. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. uh, yes. Generally speaking, Mr. Retro Gaming, it's the fact that uh, there is much more... I think they've tested they've tested a few engines. There was because they were showing footage of it in the video I was watching. Like they were saying, "Oh yeah, we're printing this one." It's like their third or fourth gen of that rocket. They print them smaller, they fire them, then they print them bigger, and they fire them, and then they print them. Then they're try, like trying to print like actual size ones to fire. So like you know you can make small ones, tiny tiny ones. I don't know about they're that small, but you know make test ones to prove proof of concepts. And think about that too, like you can proof of concept something with your 3D printer on a small scale and then try and scale it up and see how it does and adjust as you go. But it's like some of the things that we need for current manufacturing, you need really complex like stuff that's really in a small package and you need to have a lot of conduits or whatever and it's too hard to do with like drills and ma making it the old fashioned way. So if you could just do that by just print it up. I mean, they're looking at competing with SpaceX, so I don't know if it's just for investment. I mean, yeah, they're trying to prove a lot that you can do it, but they have to prove that you can do it. I don't think they use kerosene. Unless rocket fuel is kerosene, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a rocket scientist, nor do I claim to be. I just thought it was super duper freaking neat. That's all. But yes, DJ Tom, it is mostly the fact that uh, on YouTube I have much more exposure. There's already automotive communities on here. Getting the people to, to see my content that I stream all day versus 
on here versus on Twitch is going to be a lot easier in the long run. Uh, instead of, I mean, we might start streaming to Twitch at some point in the future, like doing dual streams, but for right now, I just want to focus on making YouTube successful and get it to where it's kind of on an autopilot. Yep. Yes, it's very much passive income. And also, my content stays on, and people can look at it for a long time. Hell, wasn't it you, Bad Virus, that left the comment that was like, thanks for leaving these on so I can watch them later? Granted, I don't, but it's me. Like, I'm making my own content, so I don't find it super interesting later. But I'm sure there is somebody out there that might. Nope, that was Daryl. He said, glad you leave the VODs up so we can catch, watch it any time of the day. Um, about the only thing I can think we could do would be to make it any better. <clears throat> is timestamps. I think that's what we'll have to do at this point. Um, I know that there's an option to add a stream marker. Where did I do that? Uh, right here, add stream marker. It'll be in the video editor when the stream ends. So, I mean, I guess we could just timestamp them, like, you know, at, what time is it now? 7.27.58, you know, conversation about 3D printers, or five hours and whatever, test driving the car, four hours, putting the, starting to put the front, the front bumper installation. Uh, and so, yeah, it would just be the raw data, but we kind of break it up to where you have it, at least an idea. So anyway. Well, let me go up front and see what else there is to fix. If there's anything else to pull in, I doubt it. So we might be ending shortly. Let me find out.
Alrighty. Yup, yup. I'm just gonna go drive that car again and then park it out front and it should be done. But uh, other than that, we're done. So I'll just cut the stream here. I'm not gonna bother with taking it all out and just to come back and then turn it off. So thank you all very much for joining me. It's been a fantastic day. Little, little, uh, Alan, you are strange. Um, I don't know what's on tomorrow's schedule. Let me see. I can find out, actually, because I have the schedule right here. Appointments. Tomorrow is Thursday. I have a Suzuki XL7 for four tires and a Q5 for an oil change. So, super exciting. Let me tell you what. Oh, I'm going to be working on the Subaru, I'm sure. Probably going to be pulling the motor back out. So, that'll probably be more interesting. But I shall enjoy the day. You guys enjoy your day. Thank you all very much for being here. Don't forget to leave a little like or whatever if you don't mind and sub to the channel because we'll be back here in the morning. See y'all later. Bye bye